let's see how to calculate the volume as well as the surface area of a hemisphere. As you can see on the screen here, I have an example of a hemisphere whose volume and surface area we'll be calculating in just a couple of minutes. The first thing we'll do though, is use our knowledge of the volume as well as the surface area of a sphere to figure out the formula that we'll need for a hemisphere. So on the right hand side of the screen here, I've made a quick sketch of a sphere. And so let's say its center is right here and its radius I'm drawing now is equal to R. And in fact, let me label that, that's a sphere. Well, we've already seen that the volume of a sphere is given by the formula V, which equals to four thirds of pi times R cubed. And we've seen that its surface area, which I'll call A, is equal to four times pi R squared. So these are the two formula we've already seen and that we'll use to find the formula for a hemisphere. And so now let me make a quick sketch of a hemisphere. So it looks a bit like a salad bowl. There we go, something looking like this. And so I'll say that the center of the disc at the top is right there. And once more, the radius here is R. Okay, well looking at a hemisphere, hopefully it's quite clear that what we're dealing with here is a half of a sphere. Consequently, the volume of a hemisphere will be equal to one half of the volume of a sphere. So let's write that out. In fact, let me put a little title here. There we go, hemisphere. Okay, the volume will be equal to one half of, so times, the volume of a sphere. So that was four thirds of pi r cubed. Now, taking care of these two fractions which are being multiplied together, this is equal to one times four over two times three times pi r cubed. And hopefully you can appreciate that the four on the numerator has a common factor with the two on the denominator, that factor being two. So we can cross the two out on the denominator and replace the four on the numerator by a two, which leads to one times two over three times pi r cubed. Finally, since one times two is just two, we obtain the formula for the volume of a hemisphere, which is two thirds of pi r cubed. And I'll go ahead and box that formula. That's the formula for the volume of a hemisphere. Okay, well, what about the surface area? Well, the key thing to realize here is that the surface area of a hemisphere comes in two parts. Indeed, we have the curved surface area which wraps itself around this hemisphere. And no surprise there, the curved surface area will be equal to one half of the area of a sphere. But we also have to consider the fact that we have a disc at the top of this hemisphere. And since this is a disc of radius r, its area is pi r squared. Consequently, the total surface area of a hemisphere, so that includes the curved surface area and the disc at the top here, is given by area equals to the area of the disc at the top, which we just said is pi r squared, plus one half of the area of a sphere. So that's one half times four pi r squared. Now one half times four is one half of four, which is just two. So this is equal to pi r squared plus two pi r squared. Finally, adding pi r squared to two pi r squared, we obtain the formula for the total surface area of a hemisphere, which is just three pi r squared. And I'll go ahead and box that result. That's the formula for the total area of a hemisphere. And I should say, at times, we'll be asked to, or will be required to not include the surface area of the disk at the top here. And we'll speak of the surface area of an open hemisphere. So you can imagine an open salad bowl. And when that's the case, to calculate the surface area, we simply don't include this pi r squared term in which case the formula for the surface area would simply become one half of the surface area of a sphere, which would be two pi r squared. And so let me quickly write that here. That would be two pi r squared. I'll box that. And that would be the formula for the area, area of an open hemisphere. So open hemisphere. Okay, now that we have the formula for the volume of a hemisphere, as well as the formula for the total surface area of a hemisphere and for the area of an open hemisphere, let's go ahead and calculate each of those three results for the hemisphere we see here. So let's go ahead. I'll start with the volume and I'll remind myself of the formula. 
So remember, that's the one we have here. So the volume is equal to 2 thirds of pi r cubed. And since this hemisphere has a radius r which equals to 6 centimeters, all we have to do to calculate this volume is replace the r we see here by 6. So this would be 2 thirds times pi times 6 cubed. And at this stage, if you have access to a calculator, you could just type all of this in it and obtain the results. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll quickly go as far as we can without a calculator. So let's see, since 6 cubed is 216, this will equal to 2 times pi times 216, and all of that will be written over 3. And now 216 and 3 have a common factor of 3. Indeed, 216 is equal to 72 times 3. So we can cross out the 3 on the denominator and replace this 216 by 72. So that this becomes 2 times pi times 72. And since 2 times 72 is 144, we can state that the volume is equal to 144 pi cubic centimeters. And I'll go ahead and box that result. That's what you would write if you're asked to find the volume in terms of pi, or if you're asked to find the exact volume of the hemisphere. And in fact, I'll write that on the side here, this would be the exact volume. But of course, if we're allowed to use a calculator, then we would write this row of working on it, and in doing so and rounding to the nearest cubic centimeter, I find that this hemisphere's volume is equal to 452 cubic centimeters. And that's the volume. Okay, now that we have this hemisphere's volume, let's go ahead and calculate its area. And so I'll write that here, area. And I'll start by calculating the total surface area, which remember includes the disk at the top. So let's see, we had seen that for that, the formula is 3 pi r squared. And so I'll just write that here. The area, and I'll put a little subscript TOT for total, is equal to 3 pi r squared. Now replacing the radius r by its value 6, this becomes 3 times pi times 6 squared. Again, with a calculator we could just type that in right away, but I'll carry on by hand here to state that that's equal to 3 times pi times 6 squared, which is 36. Carrying on, 3 times 36 is 108, so this is equal to 108 pi square centimeters. And that's this hemisphere's total surface area written in terms of pi. So again, that's the exact surface area. Now typing either this result or this line of working into my calculator and rounding to the nearest square centimeter, I find that the total surface area is equal to 339 square centimeters. And we're done. And as I said I would, I'll also calculate the open surface area, so that doesn't include the disk at the top. And so I'll write A with a subscript open. And we had seen that that's equal to, the formulas down here, 2 pi r squared. Which remember is just one half of the area of a sphere. So that's 2 pi r squared. And again, we replace the r we have here by the radius we have, so that's 6. So this becomes 2 times pi times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36, so this becomes 2 times pi times 36, and 2 times 36 is 72, so we have 72 times pi, or 72 pi square centimeters. And that's the exact area. And I'll go ahead and box that just as I did for the other two. There we go. That's the exact surface area of the open hemisphere. Or I could also say that's the answer written in terms of pi. Finally, typing either this result or this line of working into my calculator and rounding to the nearest square centimeter, I find that the open surface area is equal to 226 square centimeters. And we're done. And there we have it. That's it for this video on volume and surface area of a hemisphere.